A uh, couple of injury things real quick. Uh, for Doxon, when can we s expect to see him return to competitive parts of practice, and have you made a decision on him for the first preseason game? I have not, and I expect him to do a little bit more than individual today, but we'll see how he's doing. What is Moses' status? Morgan just turned, stepped on somebody's foot yesterday, and uh, he'll be fine. Back in, full go today? Uh Probably individual, maybe a little bit of team. We'll see how he's feeling. And then for Jordan, when does he get to go full pads, full contact? He did yesterday. He was in shorts yesterday. No, he practiced yesterday. What? Jordan Reed? Yeah. Yeah, he practiced. Okay. He was on goal line a little bit. He did uh, – yeah, he, he, he practiced a lot. <laughs> With Matt – Number 86, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> With Matt, excuse me, with Matt Ioannidis and the turf toe, how are you guys managing that? That obviously can be a tricky injury. So how are you guys managing that with him? He's just getting treatment, but he's he's a very tough individual, and he does not want to miss practice. So he's fighting through it. You know, uh, hopefully it's obviously not terrible turf toe, but it is painful for him. You can see, but um, just getting the treatment before and after practice, doing what he's supposed to do. Any thought from you just like giving him a couple of days off, or would that even help? I don't know. It's up to him and the trainers, they tell me. And uh, Larry says he's good to go, and Matt says he's good to go. So he's good to go. Um, since you're, you're likely, at, it would seem like you're on track to have two backup tackles starting against New England. Um, is there a concern with, with Alex there? Will that maybe play into how long you might you might leave him out there for with, you know, I guess you'd have Christian on the left side, and I'm not sure who on the right side, but, you know, going against New England's first teamers for that first series or two? Yeah, it could have an impact, and we'll see. We have uh, a couple more practices a day. I've kind of give, I given a tentative uh, list of who I want in there for the first game and who I may not play the first game. Uh, that could change depending on if we lose a couple other guys uh, in practice today or tomorrow, but uh, we'll play it by ear, see what happens with our tackle situation. Uh, you had said yesterday as you were, we were meeting this morning to talk about who would play Thursday, and Chris Thompson was one of those guys. Did you have your meeting, and where's Chris Thompson stand on Thursday? Yeah, Chris will not play on Thursday. I do know that. He's, he's anxious and uh, has some trepidation about taking that first hit on his fibula. Have you talked to him about that, or do you just think it's a normal thing that a player is going to have some – yeah, it's a normal thing. That. It's a normal thing. I think when you see him run around, you can see that he's got his full strength and mobility back. I just uh, think it's now a matter of just slowly getting him into the team periods like we did yesterday um, and then continue to build off of that uh, on a daily basis. But obviously, I feel like he's uh, functioning well right now and moving well. Uh, he's strong in pass protection, and he's doing a good job. was back there on kickoff return. I'm just wondering if – that was to get him some reps there. Is he seriously being looked at there? And if so, could you keep five running backs? Yes, he is seriously getting looked at there. We're trying a lot of different guys back there, and it's going to be dependent on who's up on game day, really. That's why we have to have plenty of options back there. Uh, but he's definitely uh, a consideration. And five running backs, probably a stretch, but a uh, possibility. Coach here in the back. With this being game week, what would you like to see in the next couple of practices before Thursday night? Well, I think this – we're not even focused on a game right now. We're still focused on what we do right now uh, as far as our situational work and, and getting our practice in and, and our reps in. Um, we won't focus on a game till Wednesday. Uh, we'll have a walkthrough and a, a pregame mock script uh, for the guys just substitution-wise, getting them ready, trying to give them some New England looks on Wednesday. But uh, today and tomorrow uh, will be strictly – and Tuesday will be strictly ourselves versus ourselves. Jay, how do you divide your time between evaluating for the 53 and coaching for week one? It's all about evaluation for me right now. Yeah, that's all we're doing is practicing against each other, trying to give our guys different looks and put them in situations to uh, have success where we can look at everybody on, on the field on the 90-man on the roster. That's what our objective is right now. Also implementing our system and getting a lot of learning from key situational work. Uh, as far as getting ready for New England, like I said, we'll, uh, I blinked at them a little bit couple preseason games and, and all that stuff, but that won't really take place till Tuesday or Wednesday. I'm sorry, I'm in Arizona. Oh, Arizona? Yeah. Yeah, Arizona's tough. They have a new staff, you know, so we're trying to gather as much information on what Coach Wilkes has done in the past, obviously, at Carolina. Um, but uh, we'll start that probably. Coaches have already started those breakdowns, without a doubt.
But we'd like to get a couple games on them in the preseason just to see what they're doing. And what went into the decision yesterday to really have some big time contact, especially in those goal line drills? Well, I think it was important for us to get some contact. You know, we uh, run around in shorts all day and, uh, you know, some shoulder pads. I think it's important to get some people tackling. I got to see who can tackle, uh, who can run through tackles, pad level, uh, goal lines, short yard situations. Where everybody knows that we were not very good offensively on third and one uh, last year's short yardage. So it was important for us to try to set the tone and uh, get some physicality to our football team and training camp. I thought it was a good time to do it. Jay, how's the progression of uh, Sean Dion coming along, as, uh, particularly kind of dealing with calls in the middle? Yeah, he's doing good. You know, I think uh, he's got to get 100% healthy right now. I think he's done a great job as far as getting himself to a point where he can play and practice uh, effectively. But I think he's going to continue to get better, more in shape, uh, and, and uh, that knee's going to feel better and better as he as he uh, keeps getting reps and keep getting treatment. But uh, he's, yeah, I, I like him. He's doing a good job. He's smart. Um, can handle all the calls. Uh, very uh, instinctive which you have to be at linebacker. He's got all those traits. Now it's just a matter of getting his body right and his health to 100%. Anyone else? JP, you good? Keep going. Paul, what do you think? Last one. You really need a mic. You really need a mic. No, my uh, stand-up career has helped me without a mic. Um, last year, we were very high on Jeremy Spate, being a rare type guy in terms of size and his, his things he could do. Still high on him, still, still have him. Jeremy the Sprinkle or Jeremy Sprinkle. or Mon Sprinkle. Sprinkle. The tight Sprinkle. end, I'm sorry. Yeah, Sprinkle is one of these guys that you put in the oven a little bit, let him cook, and he's, he's starting to become the big time tight end that we are anticipating him being. You know, that position is really hard to find nowadays, but uh, he's stronger, more confident in what he's doing. Uh, Wes has done a great job with him, and, and I love his length. Um, he's better in a passing game. But really, when it's all said and done, we need one of those tight ends to emerge as a good, solid blocking tight end if we want to run the football. You know, we had issues last year uh, at the tight end position. Uh, Sprinkle can provide us a much needed lift if he can continue on the path that he's on as far as uh, blocking in the running game and also being effective in the passing game. But he's got a great size, great length, smart kid, and uh, I think uh, great days are in front of him. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.